Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos, Hard Difficulty. In our last episode we uh, awoken the druids of the Talon and played probably my most hated mission in all of Reign of Chaos. And now we are on uh, Chapter 5, Brothers in Blood. The next morning within the subterranean barrow deeps of Mount Hyjal. These barrow deeps have remained untouched for nearly 3,000 years. Still, there is no telling what creatures may have taken up residence after we seal these tunnels shut. There is nothing to fear in this place. The only enemy that has ever given me pause is now corrupting the lands above us. Let us be done with this business and get back to the surface. Agreed. Just be careful. There is no telling how the druids of the Claw will react to us after all this time. So this is a micro mission, so we get to relax a little bit. Um, when the mission starts, make sure to turn off autocast on the dryads and the uh, druids of the talent. Don't want to waste their mana. We're going to start off and uh, get all the creeps in this area, which includes this little kobold camp. They drop a healing pot. Down here is spiders. We're going to use entangled roots on the uh, brood mother. That way she can't spread her poison around. We only got hit by one, so that's good. And then up here is a uh, Wendigo camp that drops a greater healing? No, a scroll of healing. We're going to want to focus down that and then use fairy fire in the Elder Wendigo since he's a pretty tanky boy. Fairy fire reduces armor and uh, I believe damage. Going to pick up that healing scroll, we're going to be using it later. Okay, just the armor gets reduced for the fairy fire. Immediately. Then we go down here. There's another brood mother, same thing. We're gonna want to use entangle roots on her and focus her down. The less poison damage we take, the better. Over here is some skeleton camps. This guy casts Blizzard. We're gonna wait for him to cast Blizzard. If he does at all. If he does cast Blizzard, use Entangle Roots on him. It'll uh, stop the uh, casting. These uh, skeletal marksmen do a lot of damage to our units. Since all of our units are unarmored. There's a wand of lightning shield. We don't really want it. This greater healing though we can pick up. We get level 6 this mission. Which means access to tranquility. Which makes this mission a breeze. It's the uh, ultimate on Malfurion. And it does an AoE heal. It's a channel. And it has a very short cooldown. So you can use it pretty much as much as you want. The giant spider over here we're gonna kill. Dropped a spider ring, we're gonna want to put that on Taranda since it's an agility item. And then if we go up here we can use force of nature to clear out these mushrooms. And they'll get us access to a quote unquote secret enemy. Move them over there, and while that's happening, we'll clear out these spiders. It's a giant panda. So we'll send the treats to deal with him. He is uh, immune to magic, and he does a lot of damage. We're going to use Force of Nature one more time. 
He's pretty easy to kill as long as you let the uh, Treans tank. Because once you attack, he's going to try to attack our units, but he's not able to walk through the trees. So, it's very easy kill. I'd be worried there he's going to get that Huntress. The units are getting blocked in the back, which is why he's not dead yet. The largest panda ever. So he dropped his necklace of smell spell immunity. We're gonna want that on Malfurion. Reason we want that on Malfurion is it means he can't get interrupted while uh, channeling tranquility. Which is going to be extremely helpful in the final mission. Then we go down here. We're going to get into a bit of a hard area with a lot of skeleton, or excuse me, spiders. This is where the healing scroll is going to come in handy. So what we want to do actually is have Tyrande try to pull some of them off. If the corruption can do this to these simple creatures, I dare not imagine what it could do to the beasts who live above. We must put an end to this corruption, no matter the cost. So the spiders that are going to do the most damage is these spitting spiders, since they do a poison and a piercing attack. The goddess calls immediately. I'm going to see if I can pull them back again. As the goddess moves, so be it. My hunches are about to die, so I'm gonna use the healing scroll now. I tried to get these spitting spiders down if you're able. We should be getting level 6 soon on Malfurion, so we'll be able to use Tranquility to heal up. There it is. But there's a couple more spiders we have to deal with first. Focus down the spitting spiders, of course. Get Starfall on Tyrande. We're gonna use Tranquility and heal up. Tranquility is broken, and it's gonna make the final mission so much easier. The goddess calls. Basically, in the final mission, pretty much every enemy attack wave, we're gonna be using Tranquility. Ashra Thoraman, so be it, immediately. By Elune, as the goddess wills. Got a optional quest here. Someone threatens the wild. Old priestess, we need your help. Our shaman was bitten by a strange spider and has become deathly ill. Our tribesmen have run off, leaving us to fend for ourselves. What would you have us do? The waters of the nearby fountain of life can save him. But we dare not leave him in this state. If you can fill this vial with its waters and return it to us, our shaman's life will be saved. If his wisdom will prevent you from turning feral like your tribesmen, I will gladly save your shaman. So it's never stated, but I think it's, uh... By the way, pick up this empty vial. I think it's... In the name of Sanarius. The fur bogs that we killed in the last mission were his tribes in that ran off. I think. But we're not gonna tell on that part. Alright, so I'm gonna have everyone stand back except for the dryads so we can kill these uh, banshees. Dryads are spell immune, which means they can't be possessed. Whereas our talents and huntresses can be possessed. Take care of that. No items drop. So be it. 
Over here is a bunch of thunder lizards, and they hurt. I'm gonna want to cast a uh, fairy fire on the big one. Once they're all down, we can move to the healing fountain. And then we can uh, turn in the vial. So be it. Alone be praised, priestess. Truthfully, we doubted that you'd return. Now our shaman has a chance. Again, I must thank you for your help. Take this talisman. Should you require our aid, it will summon us to fight at your side. So we get a Talisman of the Wild. It's um, not that great an item, honestly. You can use it if you want, but what I recommend doing is selling it during the final mission for extra money. It summons fur bogs, but... The pathway cuts off to the south, but this doorway looks promising. Oh no. How could I have forgotten? What is behind this door that worries you, my love? This door leads to Illidan's prison, Taramba. We should go. Now. Illidan? It's been 10,000 years. Could he still be alive? We should free him, Furion. He would be the perfect ally against the undead and their demon masters. No, Taramba. That beast must never be set free. But he is your brother. Be that as it may, he is far too dangerous. I forbid it. Only the goddess may forbid me anything. I will free Illidan whether you like it or not. Toronto being macho woman. So, all the uh, huntresses and archers in Toronto are gone, so we continue on. Same thing, make sure to turn off autocast here. For Kalimdor. We're going to use Force of Nature on this group of mushrooms right here. Then we're going to have these trees tank for this big slime. So now that Tirana's gone and True Shadar is gone, we actually lose that on a lot of DPS. Um, we're gonna leave the druids of the town back here. Same reason. We don't want them getting possessed. Um, focus down the skeletal marksmen first. They do the most damage. And then you'll want to focus down the big ghost. As you can see, we... <laughs> Don't really have a lot of DPS. It's kind of pitiful. Alright, now that's taken care of. We'll use Force of Nature on these mushrooms, aka trees. And then we'll have the trees tank the uh, coal bolts up here. And once that's taken care of, move over to the circle of power. Is there trouble? Something maybe. Let me pass. The Ark Druid of the Moonglade demands passage. 
it shall be done. Force of nature on here. We're gonna face some pretty tough creeps up here that does die. require some micro. Turn back. You are unworthy to bask in the bear god's presence. Bear gods. Don't be afraid to use your cyclone here. Cast fairy fire on him. A uh, drop to claws of attack. We'll drop the healing potion for him. Leave our injured units back oh, here. There's a mana fountain here. Then we can bring our injured units back up. Put Malfurion in the range of the fountain and use tranquility. They dropped a scroll of mana. You don't really need to pick it up. The land and I are one. Free healing, it's nice, ain't it? That's one thing the Frozen Throne does a lot better than Reign of Chaos is healing. Oh, this guy hasn't been getting mana. Once our units are all full of mana, we'll move on. The land and I are one. What threatens these lands? Anudora. Ashterodana. Got some uh, dragons up here that we need to deal with. For Kalimdor. Make sure to cast fairy fire on the big dragon. I should have known that you loathsome beasts would take refuge. Flames of the earth. Micro pack is need to. And then uh, just focus fire the dragons down one by one. Are we being invaded for the trees? Making trades. And we dealt with that. Move on. Ah, the druids of the Claw are awake already. Come, my brothers. We have much to do. <laughs> They've lost themselves to their animal aspects. They're mindless and feral. In the Raven's name. The Horn's call might work, but it would reach only a few of them in this part of the cavern. So we can't kill any of these bears or you'll fail the mission. It's important to note. Um, these bears actually have very, very small aggro range. You basically have to be right up next to them for them to start attacking you. So, just to note that. that honestly, these bears aren't like, look, he's not even doing anything. There's a mana fountain down here with tar slime, so you don't have to go there. It's actually pointless to go there, but I'm gonna go there just to show you guys it. Just uh, cast fairy fire in the big one. And then focus down the medium sized ones. Hi, 
dropped a one in the wind, but it's a terrible item. We already have talents with this, and I don't see it being useful in the final mission at all. So, yeah, like I said, coming here is pretty pointless. Dulled my senses. What threatens these lands? Something is amiss. Ash Therodanador. Without taking off the bear, move on. It shall be done. Ash Therodanador. For Kalimdor. I'm gonna wait for him to move over here. And then we'll uh, break the gate. If he does start attacking him, just uh, use entangle. We'll wake up this bear. We have to attack him, and then we'll use cyclone on him. There's no items in these crates, so don't break them. Don't waste your time breaking them. Oops, down the brood mother. here so we don't lose the unit. But not having Malfurion attacking obviously really hurts what little DPS we do have. Dropped a mana pot. I'm gonna pick it up and immediately use it. Make sure to drop your intelligence items first so you can get more mana. I'm using Abolish Magic on the uh, slows. As long as you hug the corner here, you won't tick off this bear. Let's focus down the slimes in order of their size, biggest to smallest. Break down the gate, and that takes care of the uh, Malfurion half of this mission. I know Dora. Shandor Stormbridge. I don't know what came over us. It's been so long since we remembered who we were. All is well, Theroshan. I have need of you and your mighty brethren once again. After these many ages, the Burning Legion has returned, and only our combined strength can drive them back. Then we druids of the Claw are yours to command, Shandor Stormbridge. I cannot go back. Goddess grant the Furion throne. Your quest is foolhardy. Even your goddess has condemned the one you seek to free. So now we're on the Taronda half of the mission? Try to have Taronda tank as much as possible for these uh, first few creeps. So we're gonna go up first. There's nothing in these crates except for a skeleton. I'm just breaking them to show you guys. There's also nothing in these crates. Now I like to have fun with this mission, so uh, I'll show you guys how. We're gonna bring both our huntresses and have them shadow meld at the bridge here. And then we take our archers in Taronda, and then we can kill these Alkin for free. I heed the voice of the So be it. 
It's important to note, don't be right up on the uh, Huntresses or he'll cast War Stomp, which will bring your Huntresses out of Shadow Meld and then they'll start getting attacked. So just pull them back with an auto attack and then uh, move back a little bit and then you can just pick them off like this. Easy peasy. We'll be using this Shadow Meld quote unquote tactic a couple times this mission. In the name of Cenarius, I am We'll break these crates over here. There's a healing ward up here that we're going to be picking up. And then we uh, go to the first circle of power. I'm going to drop the greater healing for the uh, healing wards here. If you want to keep the greater healing, if you're not sure you'll need it, you can drop the ironwood branch instead. Make sure to have your Huntresses up front at all times to tank. In the name of Cenarius. Kill that lady, and we'll break down this gate here. And we'll kill these uh, mystics. Also want to break down this dungeon gate here. As the goddess wills. By the way, someone threatens the wild. In the name of Cenarius, the goddess. And then if you kill this uh, pedestal here, you get a tome of knowledge. Free stats. Make it fast. I heed the voice of Elune. Someone threatens the wild. I need the voice of I'm break down this gate. There's nothing in here. Someone threatens the wilds. Well, there's crates in here, but I promise you there's no items of importance. Attack these ladies here. We're also going to use a healing ward here. Have your units heal up, and then we'll send Tarana up and get the second circle of power. And we're going to break this gate, which will get us uh, more units. So be it. Immediately. The goddess calls. By Elune. Standing guard. The goddess calls. Ashra Sometimes it'll bug and it won't let you group that Huntress right away. Just use the control key if that happens. I am sworn to I heed the voice on your mark. All to I heed the voice of the And then now that the gate's open, we can move on with the rest of this mission. Ashra Thoraman. There's crates up here, but there's nothing in them. I know it's extra work, but just always try to make sure your huntresses are up front. We got sleepers here, and we're gonna wake them up because we're that kind of people. But it's worth waking them up. There's also crates here that don't have anything in them. Now, if you break down this gate and go in here, we get uh, bouncing glaives. Now, we're going to do the Shadow Mel trick again over here. We're going to move the hunches up and Shadow Meld her. Be quick about it. 
I walk in shadow. Alright, then we'll grab our other huntresses here. Someone tightens the wire. As the goddess wills. Without the units blocking each other all the time. Absolutely. I shall not fear. You only need two huntresses here. And we'll take Taronda and the archers. Immediately. Make it fast. The goddess calls. And then we'll take this Huntress up and pull him back. My is over. As the goddess wills. Someone tightens the wall. Absolutely. I shall not fear. I need the wall. Oh, Kalimdor. So be it. In position. Catch. Taking him down. Before you break this gate, try to uh, try to kill these spiders if you can manage to pull them back. This tight corridor is kind of a dick for getting all your units through. Well, apparently they decided to do that. And then we get three more archers. And then over here we have a ring of regen. I'm gonna drop the uh, ironwood branch for it. It's gonna spawn some enemies. Focus down the burning archer first. There's nothing in these crates, but I'm gonna break them because it'll make getting your e all your units through here a little easier. In the name of Scenarius. Kill those two ladies over here, and then we'll get some more units here. So be it. If you break down these crates, they'll have two enemies and a uh, prefer to vitality, which we'll be picking up. But we do need to uh, mess around with some hotkeys first. Now I'm going to be dropping the uh, healing wards for the uh, prefer. If we can get Toronto through here. I hate tight corridors. Might as well drop the other one up here. The treants moved to block my path. Only a powerful druid could command such creatures. Uh, good luck trying to do this cleanly. It's just a very tight corridor to get all your stuff through. Once that's done, we move on. I heed the voice of Elune. Standing guard the in position. Ashra Thoraman. All too easy. Someone threatens the wise. Speak your mind. Make it fast. I shall the not fear. Calls. As the god. And then down is here is some Ashra skeletons. Focus down the burning archer Ashra first. There's no one in these cages. And then there's goblin mines in here. There's nothing in these crates. I'm not gonna pick up the goblin mines because I wanna do something more fun. But normally the goblin mines would be very good for this next section up here. I'm gonna take the time and let this huntress heal first. We're gonna do the shadow mill trick one more time. And this is probably the fun part out of all of them. Get your huntresses up and we're gonna completely block this ramp here. I am sworn to avenge. Speak your mind. I walk in shadow. It's gonna take all your huntresses plus 
I am sworn to avenge. As the goddess waits. Absolutely. Plus one or two archers. Someone hidden the wilds. Point the way. Say no more. Done. All too easy. You are new. Fair enough. Say no more. Just uh, make sure it's all blocked off here. Say no more. Waiting on you. Done. I think that's blocked off completely. I'm gonna test Fair with this archer real quick. It is. So take whatever archers you have left plus Taronda and then uh just have yourself a little turkey shoot. Just folks fire them down one by one. Easy peasy. Now isn't this more fun than mines? <laughs> and once they're all down, we move out. Same thing, try to get your Huntresses and uh, Loki here up front. Loki has a hard time. There's nothing in these crates. Dang, what range is she? Now we're about to end this mission, so I'm gonna be a little lazy on microing. Make sure to turn steering arrows on. There is a terrible evil here that must remain trained to be here. Just focus down the keeper of the grove. I believe he will become one again. I was waiting for him to cast roots on Taronda. That means we're safe to cast Starfall for a little bit. And uh, focus everything down. I got a little lazy on the micro, but trust me, you got more than enough units to uh, deal with everything. And that's the end of the mission. Easy peasy. Iladan, is that you? Tyrande, it is your voice. After all these ages spent in darkness. Your voice is like the pure light of the moon upon my mind. The Legion has returned, Illidan. Your people have need of you once more. Because I once cared for you, Tyrande, I will hunt down the demons. But I will never owe our people anything. Then let us hurry back to the surface. The demon's corruption spreads with every second we waste. Furion! It has been an eternity, brother. An eternity spent in darkness. Illidan. You were sentenced to pay for your sins. Nothing more. And who were you to judge me? We fought the demons side by side, if you recall. Enough of this, both of you. What is done is done. But my love, with Illidan's help, we will drive the demons back once again and save what is left of our beloved land. Have you even considered the cost to Randa? This betrayer's aid may doom us all before the end. I will have nothing to do with this. And that's the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day.